waking that you feel waking is real and dream is uh, just a dream they are different from each other and they are not like they are not similar to each other you feel that advaita can be taught in that way also and that is the way it is mostly taught that is the way it is most accessible to us because that's how we feel and to if you try to tell us that dream and waking are similar or equal in status difficult for us to swallow so we are taught that there is a waking world and that is more real than the dream and this is called uh, srishti drishti vada the world has been created how god created the world and i have been born into it and now i'll be shown step by step how to realize my true nature as brahman um, but the world is out there real compared to me the jiva um and so waking world is more real than the dream world this is the preliminary way of teaching what what ramana maharshi is doing is is a more advanced way of teaching advaita vedanta so the preliminary way of teaching is called srishti drishti vada srishti is there and then you see a first drishti then drishti is also called tri satta vada three levels of reality one ultimate reality brahman ultimate reality paramartha but there is a transactional reality what is the transactional reality here you are there in um, queens in darunachal ashram i'm sitting in manhattan nevedanta society dr ramanan is sitting uh, in uh, tiruvannamala in uh, in the uh, uh, raman ashram there and we let's see here is a body here are furniture and computer all these are called transactional reality sky and earth and all real transactional real it's called vyavaharika satya, uh, satyam so two levels paramartika satyam vyavaharika satyam and then the third level we all recognize we you just said dream you can make a mistake about snake in a rope you can see a mirage we know they are all errors but they still appear to us we see them but we know they are false movie we see 3d 3d laddu uh, we see it but we know it's false so what is that that is called the pratibhasika satyam the third level lowest level lowest grade of reality which is just an illusion an error an appearance a projection so three levels brahman paramartika satyam jagat or the world where you are right now uh, vyavaharika transactional realities vyavaharika satyam and then um the uh, the error world of errors and dreams and so on illusions movies fiction so that is called pratibhasika satyam three levels of reality three satta three levels of truth or three levels of reality tri satta vada that is the it sounds complicated but that's actually the simplest way of teaching vedanta it's the most acceptable to most people because we think like that there's our sort of common sense approach but there is a more advanced way of teaching advaita vedanta more advanced than this this is what uh, bhagavan ramana does that is called drishti srishti vada and he favors that uh, bhagavan ramana favors the drishti srishti vada uh, where you investigate further and say wait a minute this um, so called transactional world is waking world and this dream world are they really different what are the differences somebody just now you, you gave one there are many other differences people can give objections um, i have come across 10 different objections that waking and dreaming must be different and all those objections are knocked out none of all those objections do not stand i'll give you the reason why waking and dreaming are the same what bhagavan ramana says is is actually a deeper truth you said your objection was waking world is stable it lasts it is constant dreams come and go but is that true in the dream suppose i go fall asleep here in manhattan in my in the ashram here and at night i'm del- uh, dreaming that i have gone to um uh, arunachal ashram or i've gone to india to delhi ramana kendra in delhi i'm visiting and then later on i will wake up now when i am visiting in delhi i have no memory of that i am um, actually sleeping in the ashram in vedanta society in new york i feel here is new delhi here is the ramana kendra here are the here are the people uh, here is the secretary anurag ji um, and all this is going on do i ever feel in the dream this is not constant it will come and go it disappears every night a new thing will happen every day something yeah. do we never feel like that when we are in the dream it feels constant just like the waking think about it it's only after waking up when we compare many dreams memories of many dreams then we say the dreams are not constant that's the only difference deeper reason 
the waking world is also seen and the dream world is also seen that is the similarity in both both are objects experiences there's no question of one may feel more constant one may feel not so constant in the dream however you feel it's con- in the dream do you ever feel everything is temporary everything is dream like no it feels like a waking world it feels real and it feels constant it feels stable another objection might be that um, um in the waking world things are there outside see table and chair everybody who comes can see that uh, same table and chair but in the dream if you dream of a table and chair it will be inside your mind you it's inside your mind. all things in the dream are inside your mind things in the waking world are outside so waking and dreaming are different no again when you are in the dream you will see when you're sitting with your friends that the distinction between internal and external is maintained there suppose you're sitting and having a cup of coffee with your friend on a table in the dream your friend and you will both see the same table in the same cup of coffee you will see and what you are imagining will be private to you in your mind in the dream and what the friend is imagining will be private to the friend's mind in the dream in your dream if you are having a cup of coffee with a friend the friend will not say oh this is a dream a um, cup, cup of coffee and table are all in your mind no they will feel just like waking so the external internal difference is maintained in the dream also so only after you wake up you feel the whole thing was in my mind so where is the difference between waking and dreaming and there are multiple other objections each objection is dismissed they cannot stand i'll give you home task suppose somebody says assignment you know suppose somebody says that in a dream um the things in the world, waking world work practical efficacy i feel thirsty if i drink the water my thirst will be quenched but the water which i had dreamt in my dream if i that cannot quench my thirst a dream water cannot quench my thirst money in the dream i won a lottery in the dream can it buy food for me in at whole foods or trader joe's no so waking world is real because the things work in the waking world they are effective they are practical efficacy the dream objects do not but this objection does not stand you you have to tell me why it is your assignment similarly every objection can be dismissed so you are left with a very shaky feeling in that case my waking world is also like a dream dream and waking both are reduced to appearance so two levels of reality now not three levels what were the three levels ultimate reality which is paramarthika transactional reality vyavaharika and appearance dream level illusion pratibhasika now two levels of reality ultimate reality brahman paramarthika and pratibhasika reality appearance waking is also a dream dream is also a dream gaudapada in the mandukya karika he says um, we always think mandukya karika has three states waking dreaming deep sleep and the reality is turiya gaudapada says no 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 there are only two states what are the two states on this um, he says sleep and dream deep sleep is deep sleep dream is dream waking is also dream waking and dream are the same thing dream there are two kinds of dreaming one is dream dreaming one is waking dreaming and there is deep sleep so only two states are there deep sleep and dreaming godapada says that is drishti srishti vad that is dvi satta vad two levels of reality ultimate reality that is brahman paramarthika and the rest is a dream second level of reality is dream pratibhasik no vyavaharika reality anymore there is one more even more advanced sometimes ramana maharshi has touched upon it that may sound crazy from our point of view it's called ajata vad no world at all only ultimate reality brahman and brahman only and that is the point of view actual point of view of an enlightened person so bhagwan ramana actually if you ask him what is the status of the world his answer will be what world what are you talking about if you insist no 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 this world is uh, i am seeing you cannot deny it then he will make some concession and he will say consider it like a dream if you persist no 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 it's not a dream it is real dream is not the same as waking then finally he'll be forced to come down to the basic introductory level of vedanta and say all right make this threefold distinction ultimate reality 
ವೇಕಿಂಗ್ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಪಾರಮಾರ್ಥಿಕ ವ್ಯಾವಹಾರಿಕ ಪ್ರಾತಿಭಾಸಿಕ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಸಿಮ್ಯುಲೇಟ್ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಅಡ್ವಾನ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಇಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಡೈಜೆಷನ್ ಇಂಟೆಲೆಕ್ಚುಯಲ್ ಡೈಜೆಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಎನಫ್ ದೆನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟೂ ಲೆವೆಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಮಾಯಾ ಮಿಥ್ಯಾ ಪ್ರಾತಿಭಾಸಿಕ ಅಪಿಯರೆನ್ಸ್ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ಅಜಾತವಾದ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಅಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಲೋನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಲೆವೆಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ರನ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೈಮ್ maybe one more question swami ji yes what is observing the quietness in the mind in atma vichara how do we go past it at the moment in practice yes when the mind is quieted down first of all imbue the mind assimilate this truth that i am the witness of all objects it's a thought it's an understanding so finally when the mind quietens down at that point is also true that you are the witness of the quiet mind earlier you are the witness you are the consciousness which witnesses the active mind see what is the difference between um the seeker who is practicing who am i and the worldly person the worldly person what he does is the active mind whatever comes in the active mind he follows he or she follows that temptation or fear or whatever is something is coming in the mind you go after that you keep thinking about it and you take action but the seeker what he does is he uses who am i or what am i so when a thought comes who is the thought coming to the direction is not towards the thought directions inwards like that dawad the 10th turn use every thought to turn inwards instead of going towards the thought you turn inwards if you keep doing that as ramana maharshi promises the thoughts will all merge into that i thought and it will uh, quieten down quiet mind that is the level of samadhi if you really quieten it it will be, become absolutely samadhi but if your mind is surcharged with the thought i am the witness of all experiences then i am the witness of that samadhi also from there you must do one more one last turning inwards but you can't do it with thought if you think again one more thought will come it will happen automatically it will be dropped so the last instruction will be having understood all this keeping all this understanding in mind that i am the witness of the active mind and the witness of the quiet mind for a few seconds also two seconds three seconds also if you quieten the mind absolute quiet i am the witness of that it will go beyond this is this language but it will not be in the level of language the last instruction would be when the mind is quiet no thought no activity absolutely peaceful drop that drop it then what is there will remain once you've got that what is there the witness of that that quiet mind which will be clear to you when you drop the quiet mind what do you mean by could drop the quiet mind i cannot explain further you can if you try it you can see it's not very difficult to understand then the self is revealed it is called swaprakasha it shines for it is always shining for it just becomes clear that oh this is what i am then after that if the mind is quiet if the mind is active at no point will you be identified with the mind at no point will you feel that the mind is um the only reality or even the separate reality it is all the projection the prakash of the self i was just thinking the man who asked all these questions to ramana maharshi shiva prakasham the whole mystery is in the name itself shiva prakasham the entire universe body mind thought feelings spiritual quest realization all of it is what shiva prakasha light the light of shiva you are that light of shiva hmm. it's fun it's the best thing one can do in life all right thank you pranams to you swami ji thanks for sharing the deep thoughts and the explanation of 
Bhagwans, who am I? And also for all the question and answer, which gave a lot of insight and which was a lot of inspiring thoughts. As one of the finest exponents of Advaitic Vedanta, it's always a pleasure and almost a privilege to hear from you. And on behalf of the Sri Ramanashramam and Sri Arunachala Ashramam, we thank you very much, Swamiji, for your time. And you have always agreed so fast to speak to us, to give us the guidance. Om Namo Bhagavate Sri Ramananda. Om Namo Bhagavate Shri Ramanaya Verses from Shri Ramana Chattva Rimshat by Kavya Kanta Ganapati Muni Vande Shri Ramana Rishi Racharyasya Om Namo Bhagavate Shri Ramanaya Verses from Shri Ramana Chattva Rimshat by Kavya Kanta Ganapati Muni Vande Shri Ramana Rishi Racharya Sipadabjam Yome Darshayadisham Bhantam Dhantam Aditya Kataya Nijaya Kalusham Harata Karuna Nidina Runa Shaila Dusha Kagavahana Bhashita Tattva Vida Prashavahana Munarahasya Brita Ganaran Mukasuri Sabhaguruna Guna Sanchaya Ratna Mahoda Dina Ganagura Sahasra Karena Yata Tanu Kanchaka Gupta Maha Mahasa Chaturena Chalendri Anigrahani Patuna Paraki Yuguna Grahani Chalavarajita Mona Samadhi Dusha Balatar jita bhi karakam arusha Chataram samaye paripura yata Katinam brita madrita te charata Chashaketana shasta dura pavrada Prishimatma vibhoda vidhoda tata Bhava bhi karavari nidhim tarata Karata marasena supatravata Swadrasha dhikashi talakanti bhrita Bhaya mangri saroja jusham harata Namatamati bhakti matam nidhina Ganata pavidhuna nasan nidhina Yati dharma titim paripala yata Paritas chatamo vinivara yata Paninayaka varnya gunogha bhrita Bhaniti priya satya hita bhanata Pahumana vashada yata sukitam Avamana tate ravidhu navata Yatinam adipena kushagra lasan Matina dritina shita chitta bhuva Laharim pramadasya sadava hata Nihatantara shatrava saunhatina Bhagavat Padamanya Jana Sulabham Swagunera Dhigatya Param Jayata Mamatara Hitena Hitena Satam Nihitena Ghana Prabhuna Hridaye Dharani Dharajanka Mapitya Jata Dharani Talavasita Modhutaye Naravesha Bhrita Nagarandra Krita Ramane nasana thamidam bhuvanam Paradesi neva thavale na vasa saha Chakale na vesti takati vishobhina Paradesi ke na naravesha dharina Shikivahane na guru majjagad bhavet Atita guna jala ya neishtika brahmachari ne Namo Maya Manushyaya Gurave Tarakaraye 
ಯಾತ್ರಕೇಕಿನಾ ಕುಲಪತಿ ಸ್ನಾನಾಯನ ಸ್ವರ್ಣದೀ ಪಾನಾಯ ಕ್ಷತಿಬ್ರಹ್ಮೇಂದ್ರ ದುಹಿತುರ್ನ ಸ್ತನ್ಯದುಗ್ಧಾಮೃತ ದಾನಾಯ ಪ್ರಮಥೇಶ್ವರ ಸ ವಯಸೋ ನೇವಾತ್ರವೀನಾಭೃತ ವಾಸ ಶೌನಗಿರೋ ಕರೋಸಿ ಭಗವನ್ ಕ್ರೌಂಚಾಧಿಭೇದ ಕುತ ಏಕಂ ವಕ್ತೃ ಮುಂಗವಾಸ ವಿರಹ ಪಾನೌ ನ ಶಕ್ಯಾಯುಧ ಮರ್ತ್ಯತ್ವ ನ ಪತಾಕಿ ಚ ಪೃತನ ಪಾರ್ಶ್ವತ್ವಯನಾಕಿನಾ ವೇಷೋಲಂ ಪುನರೇಶ ಮುಗ್ಧನಯನ ಪ್ರಚ್ಛಾದನೆ ಭೂಜುಷಾ ಅಂತರ್ಧಾನುಪೈಷಿ ತಾರಕರಿಪೊ ಕ್ವಸ್ತನ್ಯದಾತ ಕೇಚದ್ ಯೋಗ ವಿಂ ಪುರಸ್ಸರ ಇತಿ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞಾ ಬುಧ್ಯಾ ಪರೇ ಸಾಧು ಕಚಿದಿತೀತರೆ ಗುರುಧಿಯಾಕ್ಯಂಗ್ರಿ ಪದ್ಮ ತವ ಸೇವಂತೆ ರಮನಾಭಿಧಾನ ಮನುಜಕ್ಷೇಮಾಯ ಜಾತಕ್ಷಿತೌ ವಿತ್ರಾಸ್ವಾಂ ಗಿರಿಚಾಂಗ ಪೀಠನಲಯ ಜಾನಂತಿ ದೇವಂ ಗುಹಂ ಓಂಕಾರಾರ್ಥಮುಪಾದಿಶೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾನಿ ಮನೋಹಾರಿಣೇ ತಾತಾಪ್ಯುಪದೇಷ್ಟ ಮುಧ್ಯಥಮೂತ್ ಕಿಂಚಿಧ್ವಧೀಯ ಮುಖಂ ಚೇಷ್ಟ್ಯ ಸಹೋದರ ಗುರುತಾಂ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ತಿ ಧೀ ಗೌರವಾತ್ ಸುಬ್ರಹ್ಮಕನಿಷ್ಟತಾಮಿಕತ ಸರ್ವಾಧಿಕ ತ್ವುನೈ ಯತ್ಪೂರ್ ಶ್ರುತಿಪಾರದರ್ಶ ದಿಶನೋ ದ್ವೈಪಾಯನೋ ಧ್ಯಾರುಹತ್ ಪಶ್ಚಾತ್ಭೋದಕಲಾವಿಧೂತಿಮಿರಶಂಕಾಪಶಂಕರ ತತ್ಸಂಪ್ರತ್ಯಖಿಲಾವನೀತಲಜುಷಾ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಸಿಂಹಾಸನ ದೇವತ್ವಾಂ ಪ್ರತಿ ವೀಕ್ಷತೆ ನರತನೋ ಗಿರ್ವಾನ ಸೇನಾಪತೆ ಧರ್ಮೇ ನಾಶು ಮುಪಾಗತೆ ತ್ರಿಭುವನೆ ಪರಿಯಾಕುಲೆ ಪಾಪತ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞಾನೆ ಪರಿತೋ ಗಿರಾಂ ಪತಿ ಮುಧಾ ಸಂಚಾರ್ಯಮೇ ಜನೈ ಸದ್ಭಾವೆ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರ ಚಪಿತು ಸಂದೇಹ ಡೋಲಾಂ ಗತೆ ದ್ವಿಪಕ್ಕೈ ತವ ಮರ್ತ್ಯಕೇಕಿತುರಗತ್ವಾಮಂತರ ಕಸ್ಸತ ವೈರಾಗ್ಯಂ ತಮ ವಿತ್ತಮಸ್ತು ಕರುಣಾ ಶಕ್ನೋಷಿ ಹಾತಂ ಕಥಂ ಚ್ಯೂಸ್ಯಸ್ತೇಸ್ತ ಸಮುದ್ಯಮ ಪಿತೃಪದ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಚಿಂ ತಾದೃಶ ಕಾಮಸ್ತೇಸ್ತು ವಿಗರ್ಹಿತೋ ವಿನಮತ ರಕ್ಷಾ ಚ ಕಿಂ ಗರ್ಹಿತ ಸ್ಕಂದಚ್ಚದ್ಮನುಷ್ಯ ಕಿಂ ನು ಸಮಯ ಕಂಚಿತ್ ಸಮುದ್ವೀಕ್ಷಸೆ ದೂರಂ ಯಾಹಿ ಕುವಾದ ಧರ್ಮ ವೃಷತೆ ನೇತ ಪರಂ ಪಂಗುತ ದುರ್ಭ್ರಾಂತೆ ಭುವನ ಚೀಹಿ ಪರಿತೋ ವರದಸ್ವ ಸಂಸತ್ಸತ ಸೋದರ್ಯನ ಸಮನ್ವಿತೋ ಭುವಿ ಮಾಂ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ತೋ ಗುರುಗ್ರಾಮನೀ ಶೂರಾಂತ ಪುರನೇತ ವಿಭ್ರಮಹರೋ ದೇವೋ ಭವಾನೀ ಸುತ ಜನ್ಮಸ್ಥಾನಮವಾಪ್ಯ ಗುಪ್ತ ಮಹಮೋ ಯೋ ಭೇದ ಮಾಧೂತವಾನ್ ಭೂತಾಂ ಚರತಾಂ ಪ್ರದಗ್ವದಿಯಾತ್ಮೇವಯೋ ಭಾಸತೆ ದೇಹಂ ಸರ್ವಿದ ಜಗಚ್ಚ ವಿಭವಾದ್ ಆಕ್ರಮ್ಯ ಯ ಪ್ರೋಲಸತ್ ಏಕಸ್ತ್ ಗುರುಮೂರ್ತಿಮಾನಮತರೆ ಲಂಬೋದರ ಭ್ರಾತರ ಅಂತರೆಯಶ್ಚ ಬಹಿರ್ವಿಧೂತಿಮಿರ ಜ್ಯೋತಿರ್ಮಯ ಶಾಶ್ವತ ಸ್ಥಾನ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ಯ ವಿರಾಜತೆ ವಿನಮತಾಮ್ಞಾನ ಮುನ್ಮೂಲಯನ್ ಪಶ್ಯನ್ ವಿಶ್ವಮಪೀದ ಮುಲ್ಲಸತಿ ಯೋ ವಿಶ್ವ ಪಾರೇ ಪರ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀರಮನಾಯ ಲೋಕಗುರವೇ ಚೋಕಸ್ಯ ಹಂತ್ರೇ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತಿ ಶ್ರೀರಮನಾಯ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ಶ್ರೀರಮನಾಯ ಐ ಸಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮಂಡರಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ನೋಗಸ್ ಕೋಶ ಆಶ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಆಥರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಾಂಗ್ ದ ಡಾನ್ ಚಾಂಟ್ ಸಚ್ಚಾ ಮಂಗಲಂ ಶ್ರೀ ವೆಂಕಟರಮಯರ್ ಕೇಮ್ ಟು ಬಾಗಮನ್ ಅಟ್ ವೀರಪಾಕ್ಷ ಕೇವ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ 1910 ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಅರ್ಲಿಯೆಸ್ಟ್ ಹಿಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಬಾಗಮನ್ even though the author was standing near Bhagavan's bodily form he realized that Sri Bhagavan was not the body 
As we celebrate this Jayanti today, I know we are doing the same. It is said that this little-known author danced around Bhagavan in rapture as he performed the songs, and after his five days stay, writing a poem each day, he was not seen again. This is the first poem, The Dawn Chant. The light is dawning on Aruna Hill. Sweet Ramana, come. Lord Arunanchala, come. In the bush, the coal sings. Dear Master Ramana, come. Lord of knowledge, come. The conch blows, the stars are dim. Sweet Ramana, come. Lord God of gods, come. The cocks crow, the birds chirp. It is already time. Come. The dark night has fled. Come. The trumpets blow, the drums beat. Gold bright Ramana, come. Knowledge awakened, come. The crows caw, it is morning. Snake decked Lord, come. Blue throated Lord, come. Ignorance has fled, the lotus is open. Wise Lord Ramana, come. Crown of the Vedas, come. Untainted by qualities, Lord of liberation, benevolent Ramana, come. Lord of peace, come. Sage and Lord, one with being, knowledge, bliss. Lord, dancing in joy, come. Lord incarnate on the pinnacle of knowledge, beyond pleasure and pain, come. Blissful silence, come. Namaste. Tiri juri na dene ramana sadguru Tiri juri na dene ramana sadguru Viru paksha vasane ramana sadguru Viru paksha vasane ramana sadguru Ramana sadguru Ramana said Guru, Ramana said Guru. Did it truly not the need? Ramana said Guru. Did it truly not the need? Ramana said Guru. Kaupi never said, Ramana said Guru. Kaupi never said, Ramana said Guru Karuna Samudrani Ramana said Guru Karuna Samudrani Ramana said Guru Kaupi Navasana Ramana said Guru Kaupi Navasana Ramana said Guru Karuna Samudrani Ramana said Guru Karuna Samudrani Ramana said Guru Om Karaswarupani Ramana said Guru Om Karaswarupani Ramana said Guru Ramana said Guru Ramana said Guru, Ramana said Guru. Did it truly not the name? Ramana said Guru. Did it truly not the name? Ramana said Guru. Chidananda Rupani, Ramana said Guru. Chidananda Rupani, Ramana said Guru Dakshina Murti Rupa Ramana said Guru Dakshina Murti Rupa Ramana 
सदगुरु चिदानंद रूपने रमण सदगुरु चिदानंद रूपने रमण सदगुरु दक्षिणा मूर्ति रूप रमण सदगुरु दक्षिणा मूर्ति रूप रमण सदगुरु मौन तत्व बोधक निरमण सदगुरु मौन तत्व बोधक निरमण सदगुरु रमण सदगुरु रमण सदगुरु रमण सदगुरु दिड चुरी नाद ने रमण सदगुरु दिड चुरी नाद ने रमण सदगुरु निरूपाक्ष वासने रमण सदगुरु विरूपाक्ष वासने रमण सदगुरु 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 श्री रामाचित निधि रमणा 
ಶ್ರೀರಾಮಾರ್ಚಿತ ನಿಧಿ ರಮಣ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮಾರ್ಚಿತ ನಿಧಿ ರಮಣ ಜಯ ರಮಣ ಜಯ ರಮಣ ಜಯ ರಮಣ ಜಯ ರಮಣ ಜಯ ವರ ಪ್ರತ ಜಯ ರಮಣ ಜಯ ವರ ಪ್ರದ ಜಯ ರಮಣ ಜಗದೋಧಾರ ಜಯ ರಮಣ ಜಗದೋಧಾರ ಜಯ ರಮಣ ಜೀವನ್ ಮುಕ್ತ ಜಯ ರಮಣ ಜೀವನ್ ಮುಕ್ತ ಜಯ ರಮಣ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮಾರ್ಚಿತ 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 ಜಯ ರಮಣ Greetings from Sri Ramanachalam Mandir in Ogdensburg, New York, on the banks of the beautiful St. Lawrence River. I'm going to be reading a memoir of the founder of Arunachala Ashram, Arunachala Bhakta Bhagavat, and it's entitled Gifts from a Friend. Just over 20 years ago, on April 10th, 2000, the founder of Arunachala Ashram, Arunachala Bhakta Bhagavat, merged in the bliss of Arunachala Ramana and became free from the bondage of human existence. Though no longer among us, I do not believe he can ever be far in thought from those of us who were privileged to know such a unique soul during the formative years of young adult life. I think if any of us who knew Bhagavat well were asked what first comes to mind on thinking of him, the word would have to be friend. Friendship was Bhagavat's first and last gift. There was no time of day that Bhagavat would not run to the aid of a friend, and he would spare no amount of time or energy to offer consolation, encouragement, and good cheer. The atmosphere of friendship in the ashram was one in which Bhagavat, in his unique, humble, and often humorous way, conveyed to us the gifts of his wisdom and the wisdom of Bhagavan. First and foremost, Bhagavat taught us about abhyas, spiritual practice. He would compare spiritual practice to digging ditches, saying it must be done with the same discipline and determination and must be given the top priority in our lives. The regular nightly practice that began at 7 p.m. that combined recitations and Sanskrit chants followed by a period of silence and a reading from Sri Bhagavan's teachings was the cauldron in which we one-pointedly sought time and again to take the mind to its source and abide there. After the silence, Sri Bhagavan's words would enter and take deep root in our hearts. There is no doubt that the cumulative effect of our regular and repeated practice was such that on uttering the very first syllables of the evening recitation, we would be carried deep within. Early mornings became time for the sweet, and sublime recitation of Sri Lalita Sahasranam, followed by silence and once again 
contemplation of a reading from Sri Bhagavan's words. One cannot overestimate the power of this litany to still the mind and diminish one's sense of doership in the following hours of the day. Thus, the translation of ideas on meditation from theory to intense one-pointed practice and direct experience, what would, I would have to say, be the primary priceless gift offered us by Bhagavat's influence. It was he who sat and showed us how to chant and to follow the sound of a mantra to the heart center, how to still the mind, how to practice self-inquiry. It was he who created the setting in which the patient daily practice would bring about the flowering of peace, of abidance in the self. The setting was a tiny storefront meditation center on East 6th Street in Manhattan that contained the universe. It always amazed me how Bhagavat seemed to have whatever quote of Sri Bhagavan that was needed or appropriate on the tip of his tongue. In addition, he had many homely wisdom stories from Indian village life in his repertoire. Bhagavat also had some classic sayings of his own that he repeated so often and all of these stories and sayings became engraved in the hearts of us all. At the time, we used to joke that we could just recall them by number and dispense with their narration, having heard them so often. In reality, though, they became such a part of us that they continue to guide all of our decisions in matters great and small to the present day. Bhagavat used to humorously call himself the doorman and doormat of Sri Arunachala Ashram. He placed great emphasis on the personal touch, and he wanted all people to be greeted with a warm welcome. His typical telephone greeting was an exuberant, Sri Arunachala Ashram, Namaskar, Namaskar, Namaskar. Now that the communities dedicated to Sri Bhagavan and his teaching have so grown in size, scope, and outreach, I think that the personal touch emphasized by Bhagavat is today even more important than ever. Among the personal qualities to be desired in a devotee, Bhagavat valued and esteemed an open heart over and above any other qualification. Coffee, company, and conversation were his gold standard, and he would typically ask, can you have five minutes of C, C, and C with the person? Bhagavat also believed in the importance of work, and he eschewed distinctions between the sacred and the secular. In this connection, he was fond of proclaiming his love of four-letter words, and he had a whole list that he would reel off with relish to demonstrate his point. In fact, hard work were two of his favorite four-letter words, along with pray, P-R-A-Y, soup, S-O-U-P, and a host of others that he would gleefully count off on his fingers. One of my own first perception shifts on meeting Bhagavat was when I discovered that I had ceased to think of God as something to be believed in or not. The concept had become transformed into reality. Bhagavat used to say that though penniless, he could pay lavish tribute with his words, which were free, and in reality, countless pages of prayer manuscript that he wrote day after day. 
demonstrate this. Seated at his beloved Hermes 3000 typewriter, Bhagavat would pour forth his devotion to Bhagavan Sri Ramana Arunachala in words or simply sit at the keys in silence. This was a practice, practice that he would cherish from the earliest hours of the morning. Today, when one reads even a page of this prayer manuscript, one can have a glimpse of his state of mind and the extraordinary flow of grace that Bhagavan Ramana had bestowed upon him. Bhagavat intended his writings as a gift to his friends, and indeed, they most certainly are. Hence, it is appropriate that now, coming up on 21 years after his passing, and almost 50 years after first meeting, our most unforgettable friend, that we pay tribute to him in our own most meager words. I can imagine Bhagavat in a heaven of friends, seated at his beloved Hermes 3000 in the clouds, telling stories from his Indian village, singing the songs of Tulsi Das, and eating celestial mangoes. But truthfully, one need not think at all for the primary and most precious gift of our beloved founder to us was the gift of silence. Aruna Chala Shiva, Aruna Chala Shiva, Aruna Chala Shiva, Aruna Chala, Aruna Chala Shiva, Aruna Chala Shiva, Aruna Chala Shiva, Aruna Chala.
ओम नमो भगवते श्री रमणाय नमस्कार इन श्री भगवान्स ग्रेज एट इज फीट वी आफर अवर मानस षोडस उपचारम विथ श्लोका सान श्री भगवान् वर्सस् फ्रम श्रुति स्मृति एंड पुराणम वी स्टार्ट विथ इनवकेशन फ्रम चतरीस फॉलोड बै टू ध्यान श्लोका बै विश्वनाथ स्वामी followed by a verse from moha mudgaram which is bajagovindam arunachala mahatmyam in skanda puranam quoted by shri bhagavan in his talk 473 ya shata sloki sloka on how an advaitin lives this life followed by the beautiful bhuma vidya sloka from chandokya upanishad in sanat kumara narada samvadam quoted by shri bhagavan in his talk 68 Yeah, Viveka Chudamani Sloka, two verses from Isa Vasya Upanishad on Aham Brahmasmi, Sarvam Kalividam Brahma. Two beautiful verses from Mundaka Upanishad that resonate. Sri Bhagavan's Aruna Chala Pancharatnam verses three and five, followed by Sri Bhagavan's Ekamakshara Slokam, and we will conclude with the last three verses from Chatvarimsad. वंदे श्रीरमण ऋषेराचार्य से बधाब्जम यो मे दर्शयदीशम भात द्वांतमदीतारचिवारीराशे योर्मीमात्र भुवन समस्त गुहात तम रमण गभीर चिंता विहीन हृदय चिंतयामी स्तनोरुणाचल से पतो स्मृत जनी प्राप्य दिव्याग्रह सुप्रवाह विवसस्तात्म्य भाव गद घृष्ट स्वगभीर निपसा लोकान्नस्कराद तस्म श्रीरमणा ते नमद लोगोत्तर ज्योतिषे भो सत्संगमोहत्मोहत्मोहत्चलत निश्चलत जीवन मुक्ति दर्शनाद प्रसदस जननाकमलाल काश्यू मरणन्मुक्ति स्मरणाचल स्मरणाचल आत्मा बोधे तरंगोस्म्यहमी गमने भावयानासनस्त संवित सूत्राणु विदो मणिहमी वास्मी इंद्रियात प्रधीद दृष्टस्मी आत्मावलोगादी शयन विद मग्नानंद सिंधो अंदर्निष्टो मुमुक्षु सकलु धनु मृता यो नयत्यु हरि हरि यत्र यश्य नान्यशृणोति नान्यजाति स भूमा यो वै भूमा भूमा तत्सुख स भूमा यो वै भूमा भूमा तत्सुख दुर्लभम त्रयमे वैदत् देवानुग्रह हेतुक मनुष्य मुमुक्षु महापुरश संश्रय 
ಮನುಷ್ಯತ್ವ ಮುಮುಕ್ಷುತ್ವ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ಸಂಶ್ರಯ ಸದಾ ಶಿವೋ ಇರಣ್ಮಯೇನ ಪಾತ್ರೇಣ ಸತ್ಯಸಿಹಿತ ಮುಖ ತೂಷನ್ ಅಭಾವೃಣೋ ಸತ್ಯಧರ್ಮಾಯ ದೃಷ್ಟೇ ಪೂಷನ್ನೇ ಕರ್ಷೇಯಮಸ್ಸೂರ್ಯ ಪ್ರಜಾತ್ಯವ್ಯೂಹರಶ್ಮೀನ್ ಸಮೂಹ ತೇಜೋಯತ್ತೇಪ ಕಲ್ಯಾಣದಮ ದತ್ತೆ ಪಶ್ಯಾಮಿ ಯೋ ಸಾವಸೌ ಪುರುಷ ಸೋಹಮಸ್ಮೀ ಸೋಹಮಸ್ಮೀ ಸೋಹಮಸ್ಮಿ ಓಂ ಪೂರ್ಣಮದ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಿದ ಪೂರ್ಣಾತ್ ಪೂರ್ಣಮುದಚ್ಯತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾದಾಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವ ಅವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಯದಾನಂಧಮಾನಸಮುದ್ರೆ ಅಸ್ತಂ ಗಚ್ಛಂದೀನೂಪೆ ವಿಹಾಯ ತದಾ ವಿದ್ವಾನ್ ನಾಮ ವಿಮುಕ್ತ ಪರಾತ್ಪರ ಪುರುಷಂ ಉಪೈದಿ ದಿವ್ಯ ಸ ಯೋಗ ವೈ ತತ್ ಪರಮ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವೇದ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೈವತಿ ನ ಅಸ್ಯ ಅಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿತ್ ಕುಲೆ ತರದಿ ಸೋಗಂ ತರದಿ ಪಾಪ್ಮಾನ ಗುಹಾಗ್ರಂದಿಭ್ಯೋ ವಿಮುಕ್ತೋ ಅಮೃತೋ ಭವತಿ ಓಕಮಕ್ಷರ ಹೃದಿ ನಿರಂದರ ಭಾಸತೆ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಲಿಖ್ಯತೆ ಕಥಂ ತದ್ಭಾಗದೇಯಮಸಮಾಗಮನೇಗಮೌ ನಿವಾಸಾರ್ಚಿದ ಸ್ಥಿತ ಪ್ರದುಕ್ಕಲು ಲೋಹಿತ ಅಂಗೀಚಕಾರ ಭಗವಾನ್ ರಮಣೋ ಮಹರ್ಷಿರ್ ಅನ್ಯಷು ಸತ್ಸೂಯದಿ ಮಂ ಬಹುಷು ಸ್ಥಳೇಷು ಶಾಂತಿರ್ನಿಧಾಂತಮಿಹ ಪರಮಾಶ್ಯ ಶಕ್ತಿ ವೈರಾಗ್ಯಮತ್ಪುದಮಂ ಕರುಣಾಧು ಸಾಂತ್ರ ಜ್ಞಾನ ನಿರಸ್ತಗುಹನ ಮಧುರಂ ಚ ವೃದ್ಧ ನೃಣ ನಿದರ್ಶನಮಯ ರಮಣೋ ಮಹರ್ಷಿ ನಾರಸಿಂಹಿರ್ಗಣಪತಿರ್ ವಾಸಿಷ್ಠೋ ರಮಣ ಗುರು ಚತ್ವಿಂಚನ್ಮಿಧೈರ್ಭಕ್ತ ಸ್ಕಂದಾಂ ಸಂಸ್ತುತವಾನ್ ಋಷಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀರಮಣಾರ್ಪಣಮಸ್ತು ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವದೆ ಶ್ರೀರಮಣಾಯ ಹರಿ ಹಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಹಿ ಓಂ Namo Ramana to all from the devotees of Ohio Satsang Group. I am Abhirash Mungamuru, coordinating from our center. We are all happy to take part in the online celebrations of Bhagavan's 141st Jainti. We shall start with singing of Bhagavan's Upadesa Saramu in Telugu. Karmamu Palamichu Kartragnya Valana Karmamu Daivama Karmamu Jadame ಕರ್ಮಫಲಮು ಚಳಿ ಕಾರಣ ಬಗುಚು ಕರ್ಮಾಬ್ಧಿ ಬಡದ್ರೋಯ ಗತಿನೀಯದಯ್ಯ ಕರ್ತರ್ಪಿತ ಫಲ ನಿಷ್ಕಾಮ್ಯ ಕರ್ಮಂಬು ಚಿತ್ತ ಶುದ್ಧಿ ನೊಸಗಿ ಚೇಚುನುದಾರಿ ಕಾಯವಾಂಗ್ ಮಾನಸ ಕರ್ಣ ಕ್ರಮ ಮುನಾ ಚೇಯು ಪೂಜಾ ಜಪ ಚಿಂತಲು ಮೇಲು ಅಷ್ಟಮೂರ್ತುಲು ಸರ್ವ ಮಾಯೀಸ್ವರುಡನು ದೃಷ್ಟಿತೋ ಘೃತ ಸೇವ ದೇವತಾ ಪೂಜಾ ಉತ್ತಮ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ಮೂಲುಚ್ಛಮು ಪಾಂಶು ಚಿತ್ತಜಪ ಮುಲಲೋ ಚಿಂತಯುತ್ತಮು 
ಸರಿದಾರ್ಜದಾರಪೋಲ್ ಸರಳ ಚಿಂತನಮು ವಿರಳ ಚಿಂತನ ಕನ್ನ ವೀರ್ಯವತ್ತೌನು ಭಾವೇದ ಮುಖಂಟೆ ಪರುದು ನೇನ ನೆಡು ಭಾವನಾ ಭೇದ ಮೇ ಪರಮೋತ್ತಮ ಮಗು ಭಾವಬಲಂಬುಚೆ ಭಾವನಾತೀತ ಭಾವಸ್ಥಿತಿ ಮುನುಲು ಪರಭಕ್ತಿಯ ನಿರಿ ಕರ್ಮಮು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯೋಗ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಮುಲಿರಿ ಮರ್ಮಮು ಸ್ವಸ್ಥಮೇ ಮನಮುಂಡು ಮಹಿಮ ವಾಯುಲೋ ನಡ್ಡಿನ ಬಲಬಡ್ಡ ಪಕ್ಷಿ ನ್ಯಾಯಮೆಂದು ಮನಮು ಪಾಯಮೌ ನಿಧಿಯು ಚಿತ್ತಮು ಪ್ರಾಣಮು ಚಿತ್ಕ್ರಿಯಾ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಸಾಖಲು ಮೂಲ ಶಕ್ತಿಯೇ ಕಂಬು ಲಯಮು ನಾಶಮನಿಯು ಭಯಮು ರೋದ ಮಗು ಲಯಮಂ ದಿನ ದಿಲೇಚು ಬೈರಾದು ಮೃತಮು ಪ್ರಾಣರೋದ ಮುಚೇತ ಬದ್ಧ ಮನಮೂನು ಪೋನೀಯು ಮುಖದಾರಿ ಹಾನಿ ಚಂದು ನದಿ ಮನಸು ರೂಪುನು ಮಾಪು ಮಹನೀಯ ಯೋಗಿ ತನ ರೂಪ ಮಂದಿನ ಪನಿಲೇ ನಿವಾಡು ಚಿತ್ತಮು ದೃಶ್ಯಮಲ್ ಚೇರಕ ತನದಿ ಚಿತ್ವ ಮೇರುಗುಟಯೇ ತತ್ವ ಮೇರುಗುಟ ಮನಸು ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಮೂ ಮರುವಕ ನಿರುಗ ಮನಮನು ನದಿ ಲೇದು ಮಾರ್ಗಮೂ ಸೂಟಿ ತಲಪುಲೇ ಮನಮೆಲ್ಲ ದಾನ ನೇನ ನೀನ ತಲಪಾದಿ ಮನಮೂನು ದಾನ ನೇ ನೇನು ನೇನಿದಿ ಪುಟ್ಟು ನಾ ಸ್ಥಾನಮು ವೆತಕ ನೇನದಿ ಪಡು ನಿಧಿ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಪದ್ಧತಿರ ನೇನಡಂಗಿನ ಚೋಟ ನೇನು ನೇನುಶು ತಾನುಗಾ ತೋಚುನು ತಾನು ಪೂರ್ಣಂಬು ನೇನರ್ಧಮದಿ ನೇನು ಲೇನಟ್ಟಿ ನಿದ್ರ ದಾನು ನೇನ ನಿಲೇಕ ತಾನುನ್ನ ದಾನ ದೇಹಮಿಂದ್ರಿಯ ವಾಯು ದೀತಮಂ ಬೆಲ್ಲ ನಾಹಮ ಸಜ್ಜಡಂ ಸೋಹಮೂ ಸತ್ತು ತಾನು ಪಾದಿ ಬದಲಿ ತನ್ನೆರುಂಗುಟಯೇ ತಾನು ಗಾ ಬಿಲುಗೀಸ ತತ್ವದರ್ಶನಮು ತಾನುಗಾನು ನಿಕಿಯೇ ತನ್ನೆರುಂಗುಟರ ತಾನು ರೆಂಡೆಕ್ಕಡ ತನ್ಮಯ ನಿಷ್ಠ ಜ್ಞಾನಮಜ್ಞಾನಂಬುಲೇನಿ ಬೋಧಂಬೆ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಮೆರುಗುಟಕೆ ದೇನಿಯೂ ಲೇದು ತನ ರೂಪ ಮೇದನಿ ತಾನು ದರ್ಶಿಂಪ ಘನಚಿತ್ತನಂತಾಧ್ಯ ಖಂಡ ಸುಖ ಮಗು ಬಂಧ ಮುಕ್ತು ಲೂಲೇನಿ ಪರಸುಖ ಸಿದ್ಧಿ ಪೊಂದುನು ದೈವಿಕ ಪುಣ್ಯ ಚರಿತುಡು ಅಹಮುಲೇನಿ ಸ್ವಯ ಮನುಭೂತ ನಿಷ್ಠ ಮಹದುಗ್ರ ತಪಮುನೆ ಮಹಿರಮಣ ಋಷಿ ಅಹಮುಲೇನಿ ಸ್ವಯ ಮನುಭೂತ ನಿಷ್ಠ ಮಹದುಗ್ರ ತಪಮುನೆ ಮಹಿರಮಣ ಋಷಿ ಅಹಮುಲೇನಿ ಸ್ವಯ ಮನುಭೂತ ನಿಷ್ಠ ಮಹವುಗ್ರ ತಪಮುನಿ ಮಹಿರಮಣ ಋಷಿ ನಾವ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅವರ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಶ್ರದ್ಧಾ ಪ್ರಿಯ ರಮಣ ಸನತ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರಮಣ ವಾಸ್ನಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಶ್ರೀ ರಮಣ ಸ್ತುತಿ ಎ ಕಂಪೋಸಿಷನ್ ಇನ್ ತೆಲುಗು ಬೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಪ್ರಣವಾನಂದ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಫಾರ್ಮರ್ಲಿ ನೋನ್ ಆಸ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಸರ್ವೇಪಲ್ಲಿ ನರಸಿಂಹ ಶ್ರೀರಮಣಿಂಗಿಂಗಿಂಗಿಂಗಿಂಗಿಂಗಿಂಗಿಂಗಿಂಗಿಂಗಿಂಗಿಂಗಿಂಗಿಂಗಿ
जय जय रमणे स दीन बंधो जय जय जनार्तिना सहेतो जय जय भगवान् प्रबोधमूर्ते जय जय दहना चलई कलोल कीर्ते जय जय करुणामय पुण्यमूर्ते जय जय विस्तृत लोक गीत कीर्ते जय जय जनार्पित भुक्ते जय जय सुंदर दंपति प्रसूते ओंकार वदनम वंद्यम कवीनामादिम कवि वंदे गणपति देव नरवेशधरम गुरु अखिल जगन्मातोमसा तापेन चाकुलास्मागृहनात्मकंपा सुधाद्रया हसी चंद्रिकया अमोरमण उमा सहस्रम Thousand verses in praise of Goddess Uma, composed by Kavya Kanta Sri Ganapati Muni, Naina. All of you know that Naina's composition was completed by the grace of Bhagawan. We shall glance over the content of twenty-second stavaka of this Uma Sahasram, and also chant this stavakam. This tabakam dives deep into the praise of the family of Lord Shiva, and named after as Hara Kutumbam. In the first eight to ten verses of this tabaka, Naina praises Lord Shiva and his various acts to protect the universe. In doing so, Mother Uma feels more happy on hearing the glory of her husband, Lord Shiva. Later in the tabaka, he sings about her sons, Ganapati and Subramanya. Naina starts this tabakam also with the praise of mother's smile which protects and glorifies all the gnanis who always sees the universe blooming with 
डिवाइन नॉलेज विकले सकले सुरब्रजे प्रभति श्यामलिमच्युते जगतत्सदयो हलाहल चुलुकी भयोदय दिस मीन्स ज्यूरिंग द चर्निंग ऑफ मिलकी ओशन फॉर गेटिंग द अमृता वेन ऑल द गॉड्स एंड द होल यूनिवर्स वेर स्केर्ड ऑफ गेटिंग द पॉइजन लॉर्ड शिवा हु डेरिंगली केम टू ड्रिंक द पॉइजन एंड प्रोटेक्ट द यूनिवर्स Shiva, the form of pure white-colored body, shining, having a special blue jewel in his throat, Nila Kanta showers his gracious looks. Just on gazing, our eyes will feel this bliss. In one of the verses, Vanita Purushau Pura Tanau. Naina praises both Shiva and Parvati as the ancient couple who radiate in the divine planes have come down have taken form have come down uh, and taken the form of the couple living in the Kailasa in one of the verse he praises divine mother to have a great son like Ganapati who is depicted in Vedas as Brahman Brahmanaspati who is the supreme leader of all the devaganas now he starts to praise lord subramanya from verses 18 to 23 saying with the shakti ayudha lord subramanya conquered tarakasura who had the pride of winning over indra and other gods in the 19th verse naina reiterates how in veda subramanya swami was depicted to liberate all beings who have a pleasant mind by eating clean and pious food by removing their ignorance and blessing them with jnana subramanya took three avatars incarnations to protect the dharma and bless mankind in the verses from 20 to 22 naina in each of the verse he depicts one avatar of subramanya first avatar is dravida shishu Sri Gnana Sambandhak, who came to sing the glory of Shiva on getting the milk from Mother, which had Shiva Gnana. Bhagwan used to narrate stories of Gnana Sambandhar at various times. Second avatar is Kumar Labat. Lord Subramanya incarnated with this name to protect the Vedic dharma of the practice of yajna. which was proclaimed in the purva mimamsa of jaimini maharshi now naina reveals bhagwan as the incarnation of skanda in the 22nd verse of the 22nd stabakam he states that currently lord subramanya is residing in the cave of shonachala hill arunachala hill to remove the avidya dark clouded ignorance which is the obstacle for the pious learned people in their pursuit of jnana teaching the ultimate knowledge of self and removing the ignorance of this worldly pressures lord subramanya took the form and praised by realized souls as bhagwan sri ramana maharshi oh mother as described above Lord Guha, who is the form of bliss, whose unparalleled strength is his penetrating vision in your most is your most pampered son, Ramana. In the last verse, Naina says, "O Mother, please protect. Please enjoy these words of praise in the Vyogini Vritta or meter by." ganapati in describing the glory of his own family last year sri ramana ashram has recorded and released the audio of the whole uma sahasram after over 100 years of uma sahasram composition it is a great honor to note that sri arunachala ramana ganapati ashram kalvarai has performed uma sahasra yagna twice on june 9th of 2019 
devotees from Sri Arunachala Ramana Ganapati Ashram were fortunate to perform Umasasra Parayana in Bhagavan's new hall at Sri Ramana Ashram, Tiruvannamalai, presided and joined by Srimati and Sri V.S. Ramanan, then president of Sri Ramana Ashram. Now we shall hear the chanting of the 22nd Stavakam by Srimati Vasanta Malavika from Hyderabad. Om Namo Bhagavate Sri Ramanaya, Om Sri Ganapati Munaye Namaha, Om Sri Umaye Namaha. Dvavimsha Stavakaha, Harakutumbakam, Yogini Vrittam. Akhilasya Vikasa Karanam Vyasane Jnani Janavane Shunaha Vitanotu Visheshata Shivam Shivarati Vadrusho Darasmitam Vikalesa Kalesu Ravraje Vrajati Shyamalimana Machute Jagatas Sadayo Hala Halam Chuduke Krit Yabhayam nuno dayaha Nigamai suragi bhuvarati Vidhina saradiman vibhedayaha Kanaka drivarena karmuki Kamalakshena shari puratrayam Ajitas yachagadha matsaraihi Kamalakanta purasarai surai Padajayudhadharaya raya dvadhama jatta jalam dharasyaya Kamala sana kanjalo janao chalalingasya sirong krivikshitum Bataham savaraha bhumikau yatamana vapiyasya naprabhu Nayanam nitalam tarastitam vigatayesha divan vitorusha Bhuvanatraya nirjayonatam madanam gadha madam dadahaya Sakale dhavalah kale bare harini Amrutam Shuriva Dadhatiya Parama Makshimudam Prepasyatam Avatam Satushara Dhiti Dhuti Dhiryas Yasho Bharairapi Samamachatari Kruto Disha Mavakasha Sutaram Prakashate Gaganana la jivana nila kshiti so maruna so mayati bihi Mahato batayasya murti bhir bhuvanam krantamidam samam tataha Sahate nadhave narajate vasudhadhari nika pirajate Vanita bhavata panashini, jarana preshani vetita shini. Vanita purusha upurata nao, vimale vyomani deva dampati. Bhuvanatrita yasya tau vibhu, rajata dravi hasidha dampati. Gajachar madhara kapala bhrut, gruhana to gruhini to kalika, rudira vila munda malini, kadhita utau bata pandita ishivau, sakwimindu kalasi romani, kimuta slila kapala bhushanaha. Kimu me bhavati kapalini, kimu vibhraji tarat namalini. Brahma semba kapala malini, kvachidi shena kapala malina. Atula prabhanishka malina, kvachidat yuttamarat namalini. Yuva yor marutas tanu bhuvo balavanto bhuvana prakampana shashidhitihari yadyasho nigame pavanamam bhagiyate guru mutta. 
ಸಮಬ್ರಹ್ಮಕ ತವ ದೇವಿ ಶಿವೆ ತನೋ ಭುವ ಮರುತ ಮನ್ಯತಮ ಪ್ರಚಕ್ಷತೆ ದ್ವಿರದಂ ವದನೆ ಮಹಾಮದ ಸಿತದಂತಚ್ಚ ವಿಧೌ ತದಿಕ್ತಟ ಇತರತ್ರ ಮುಖಾನ್ನರಾಕೃತಿ ವಿದುರಸ್ಯವ ವಿವರ್ತಮದ್ಭುತ ಅಖಿಲಾಮರ ನಿರ್ಜಯೋನ್ನತ ಪ್ರಥಮೆ ತಾರಕದಾನವೋ ಬಲಿ ಹೃತವೀರ್ಯಮದೋಭೂವಯ ಘನಶಕ್ತ್ಯಾಯುಧತೆ ಚಾಂಜಸ ಅಮಲೇ ಹೃದಯ ನಿರ್ಮಲಾಶನಾಥಿಲೆ ಗ್ರಂಥಿ ಚೇ ನಾರಾಯ ಪರಿಪಕ್ವಧೀ ಪ್ರದರ್ಶಯ ತಮಸ ಪಾರಮಪಾರ ವೈಭವ ತ್ರವಿಡೇಶು ಶಿಶು ತ್ವೇತ್ಯೋ ಗಿರಿಶ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ವಿಶೇಷ ಗಾಯಿ ಅಮೃತದ್ರವಸಾರ ಹಾರಿಣಿ ನಿಗಮಾಭಾಂ ನಿಬಬಂಧ ಸಂಸ್ತುತಿ ಭುವಿ ಭಟ್ಟ ಕುಮಾರಿ ಲಾಖ್ಯ ಭವೇತ್ಯಾಧ್ವರ ರಕ್ಷಣಾಯ ವರಜೈ ಮಿನಿ ಭಾಷಿತಾಶಯ ಬಹುಲಾಭಿ ಕಲುಯುಕ್ತಿ ಭಿರ್ದೌ ಅಧುನಾ ವಿಧುನೋತಿ ಯಸ್ತಮೋ ವಿಬುಧ ಪ್ರೇಕ್ಷಿತ ಮಾರ್ಗರೋಧಕ ರಮಣಾಖ್ಯ ಮಹರ್ಷಿ ವೇಷಭೃತ್ ಶ್ರಿತಚೋಣಾಚಲಚಾರುಕಂದರ ಸಗುಹೋತಿ ಮಹೋ ಮಹಾ ಮಹಾಸ್ತ್ರಿ ದಶಾಂ ಪ್ರತಿ ತೂಪತಿ ಜಗತ ಮಧಿರಾಗ್ನಿ ಕೋಪಿ ಸುತರ ಪ್ರೀತಿಪದ ಕುಮಾರಕ ಜಯತಿ ತ್ರಿಪುರಿ ಭಾಮಿ ಗಣಪತಿ ಮರುತ್ ಪ್ರಸೂರು ಮಾ ತಮಸೂತ ಸುರಾರಿ ಧೂತೇ ತ್ರಿದಶಾಪಿ ಸ್ವಕುಟುಂಬಕಥಾಭಿಗಣನಾಥ ವಿಯೋಗಿ ನೀರಿಮಾ ಅವಧಾರಯತು ಪ್ರಸನ್ನಯ ನಗನಾಥ ಪ್ರಿಯ ನಂಧಿಧಿಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಭಗವನ್ ಮಹರ್ಷಿ ರಮಣಾಂತೆ ವಾಸಿನೋ ವಾಸಿಷ್ಠ ನರಸಿಂಹಸೂನೋ ಗಣಪತಿ ಉಮಾ ಸಹಸ್ರೇ ದ್ವಾಂಶಕ ವಿ ಶಲ್ ಕಂಟಂಪ್ಲೇಟ್ ಆನ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಉಪದೇಶ ಟು ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಡಿವೋಟೀಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಪುಟ್ ಬೈ ದಮ್ ಟು ಶ್ರೀ ಭಗವಾನ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿರ್ ಕಂಪೈಲ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಡಿವೋಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಬಿಲಾಚಾರಿ ರಂಗಾಯ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪೇನ್ಫುಲ್ ಟು ಲೀವ್ ಯು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗೋ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ಮೈ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಇಮ್ಯಾಜಿನಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಕೇಮ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಕುಂಭಕೋಣ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾವ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಮಾಧುರಾ ಇನ್ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಯು ಆರ್ ವೇರ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ವರ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೀ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೀ ಯು ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಜ್ಯೂಬಿಲಿಯೇಷನ್ ಬಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ರೀಚ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಬೈ ಯುವರ್ ಓನ್ ಎಫರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ರಿಯಲೈಸ್ ದಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲ್ ಇನ್ ಮೀ you will recognize that you too are the self anam perala ya nalu ma sri tike sundareshaya question the six chakras the psychic centers and kundalini and so on fascinate me sri bhagwan the self alone is to be realized kundalini shakti visions of god occult powers and their spell binding displays are on in the self is it not foolish to hold on to so many efforts and so many disciplines that are said to be necessary just for eradicating the non existent ignorance Paul Burton question should we make effort 
No one succeeds without effort. When attention is directed towards objects and intellect, the mind is aware only of these things. That is, our present state of suffering. But when we attend to the self within, we become conscious of it alone. It is therefore all a matter of attention. Sadhu Natananda Bhagavan, I want to experience your gracious wisdom. Kindly fulfill my prayer. Sri Bhagavan, is it the body in front of me which desires to obtain grace? Or is it the awareness within it? If it is the awareness, is it not looking upon itself as the body and making this request? If so, let the awareness first of all recognize its nature. It will then automatically recognize God and its grace. The truth of this can be realized even now and here. Sri Ganapati Muni Question I have read all that has to be read, yet I have not understood what tapas is. Therefore, I have sought refuge at your feet. Pray, enlighten me as to the nature of tapas. Bhagwan looked into his eyes and after some time slowly replied, If one watches from where the notion I rises, the mind is absorbed into that. That is tapas. Sri Devaraja Mudliya. Question. I can understand the events in a man's life predestined by his karma. But can it be to the minutest details have already been determined? If so, what becomes then of man's freedom and responsibility for his actions? Bhagwan replied, Certainly, whatever this body is to do and pass through was already decided when it came into existence. The only freedom man has is to either identify himself with the body and be attached to the fruits of its action or to be detached from it and be a mere witness of its activities. When I am here, I am convinced that I am impressed with peace. But when I go out and think of the society or my country, I fear that I will lose the strength to act. Bhagwan replied, you should not have to fear. If you are destined to do the particular thing, it will be done. Now, I put a question to you. When a man with luggage gets into a railway carriage, where does he keep it? He does not carry it upon his head or lap. If you call him a fool, the person who keeps it on his head, it's a thousand times foolish to bear your burden when you get into, when you get into spiritual life. Now look at the temple tower. There are many statues in it. And there is a big statue, one in each corner. Is it not foolish to think the big tall statues are supporting the tower? In the same way, Is it not more foolish than your attitude when you say that you have to carry all the cares, burdens and the responsibilities? We offer our prayers to Sri Bhagavan and humbly request Michigan Rochester Satsang Group to continue the online Jayanti celebrations of Sri Bhagavan. Namo Ramana. Arunachalatakarohara Om Namo Bhagavate Sri Ramanaya. Thank you, Abhilash, and thank you, Bhaskar. This is the Michigan Satsang uh, from Rochester, Michigan. We have Saroja, Uma, Prabha, Kalpana, and Murli. We will be chanting the Upadesa Mundiyar first, followed by Upadesa Saram and Arunachala Pancharatnam, and then a small reading from Professor K. Swaminathan. Kanmam payantaral kattana dhanayam 
ಕನ್ಮಂ ಕಡಬುಳೋ ಉಂದೀವರ ಕನ್ಮಂ ಕಡಬುಳೋ ಉಂದೀವರ ಕನ್ಮಂ ಜಡಮದಾಲುಂದೀವರ ವಿನಯಿನ್ ಬೀಳೈವ ಬೀಳಿ ಉಚ್ಚುವಿತ್ತಾಯ್ ವಿನಯ್ ಕಡಲ್ ಬೀಳ್ತೀಡೋ ಮುಂದೀವರ ವಿನಯ್ ಕಡಲ್ ಬೀಳ್ತೀಡೋ ಮುಂದೀವರ ವೀಡ ದರ ನೀಲೈ ಮುಂದೀವರ ಕರ್ತನು ಕಾಕನ್ನಿ ಕಾಮಿಯ ಕನ್ಮ ಕರ್ತೈ ತೀರತ್ತಿಯ ತುಂದೀವರ ಕರ್ತೈ ತೀರತ್ತಿಯ ತುಂದೀವರ ಗದಿವಡಿ ಕಾಣ್ಬಿಕ್ಕು ಮುಂದೀವರ ತಿರಮೀದ ಪೂಸೈ ಸಭ ಮುಂದೀಯ ನಮ್ಮ ಮೂಡಲ್ ಬಾಕುಳ ತೋಳಿಲ್ ಉಂದೀವರ ಮೂಡಲ್ ಬಾಕುಳ ತೋಳಿಲ್ ಉಂದೀವರ ಉಯರ್ವಾಗುಂ ಒಂದ್ರಿಲೊಂ ನೊಂದೀವರ ಎಣ್ಣೂರು ಯಾವುಂ ಮೀರಯೂರು ಬಾಮೆನ ಎಣ್ಣಿ ಬಳಿ ಪಡಲ್ ಉಂದೀವರ ಎಣ್ಣಿ ಬಳಿ ಪಡಲ್ ಉಂದೀವರ ಬೀಸನ ಕೂಸನೈ ಉಂದೀವರ ಬಳತಲಿಲ್ ಬಾಕುಂಚ ವಾಯ್ಕುಂಚ ಬತ್ತಿಲ್ ಬೀಳ ಉಂದೀವರ ಬಿಳುಪಾಮದ ಉಂದೀವರ ಬಿಳಂಬುಂದಿ ಆನಮಿ ಉಂದೀವರ ಬಿಟ್ಟ ಕರುದಲೈ ನಾರು ನೈ ಬೀಚಿ ಪೋಲ್ ಬಿತ್ತಿರಾದುನ್ನಲೆ ಉಂದೀವರ ಬಿತ್ತಿರಾದುನ್ನಲೆ ಉಂದೀವರ ಪಿಸೇದ ಮಾ ಮುನ್ನವೇ ಉಂದೀವರ ಅನಿಯ ಬಾಬತ್ತಿ ಭವನಗ ಮಾಗು ಅನನೀಯ ಭಾವ ಮೇ ಉಂದೀವರ ಅನನೀಯ ಭಾವ ಮೇ ಉಂದೀವರ ಅನಿತೇನು ಮುಕ್ತಮ ಮುಂದೀವರ ಭಾವ ಫಲತ್ತಿನ ಭಾವನ ದೀರ ಸದ್ಭಾವತ್ತಿರುತ್ತಲೆ ಮುಂದೀವರ ಸದ್ಭಾವತ್ತಿರುತ್ತಲೆ ಮುಂದೀವರ ಪರಪತಿ ತತ್ತುವ ಮುಂದೀವರ ಉದಿತ ಈಡತ್ತಿಲ್ ಓಡುಂಗಿ ಇರುತ್ತ ಅದ ಕನ್ಮ ಭಕ್ತಿಯು ಮುಂದೀವರ ಅದ ಕನ್ಮ ಭಕ್ತಿಯು ಮುಂದೀವರ ಅದಿಯೋಗ ಜ್ಞಾನವು ಮುಂದೀವರ ಒಳಿಯುಳ್ಳ ಡಕ್ಕ ವಲೈ ಪಡು ಕುಟ್ಟೋ ಊಳ ಮುಮ್ಮೋಡುಂ ಗೂರು ಮುಂದೀವರ ಉಳಮು ಮೋಡುಂ ಗೂರು ಮುಂದೀವರ ಉಡುಕವು ಬಾಯಮೀಯುಂದೀವರ ಉಳಮು ಮೂಯಿರು ಮೂಡರ್ಪು ಶಯಲು ಮೂಳವಾನ್ ಕೀಳ ಈರನ್ನುಂದೀವರ ಮುಳವಾನ್ ಕೀಳ ಈರನ್ನುಂದೀವರ ಒಂದವಚ್ಚಿನ್ ಮೂಲಂ ಮುಂದೀವರ ಇಲಯ ಮೂನಾಸ ನೀರಂಡ ಮೋಡುಕಂ ಇಲಯಿಲ್ ತೂಳದೇಡು ಮುಂದೀವರ ಇಲಯಿಲ್ ತೂಳದೇಡು ಮುಂದೀವರ ಬೆಡಾದೂರು ಮಾಯ್ತಲೇದುಂದೀವರ ಒಡುಕ ಬಳಿಯೈ ಓಡುಂಗು ಮೂಳತ್ತೈ ಬೀಡುಕ್ಕವೇ ಓರ್ ಬಾಳಿ ಮುಂದೀವರ ಬಿಡುಕವೇ ಓರ್ ಬಾಳಿ ಮುಂದೀವರ ನೀಯೋ ಮದ ನೋರು ಮುಂದೀವರ ಮನಮೂರ ಮಾಯ ಮೇ ಮಂದು ಮಾಯೋ ಬಿತ್ತನ ಕೋಶಯ ನೀಲೈ ಮುಂದೀವರ ತನ ಕೋಶಯ ನೀಲೈ ಮುಂದೀವರ ತನ್ನೀಯಲ್ ಸಾಂದನ ಮುಂದೀವರ ಬೆಳಿ ಬೀಡ ಎಂಗಳೈ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಮಾನಂತ ಓಳಿ ಊರು ಓದಲೆ ಮುಂದೀವರ ಓಳಿ ಊರು ಓದಲೆ ಮುಂದೀವರ ಉನ್ಮೈ ಮೂಡಚಿಯ ಮುಂದೀವರ ಮನತಿನ್ನೂರು ಐ ಮರವಾದು ಸಾವ ಮರಮೇನ ಒಂದ್ರಿಲೈ ಮುಂದೀವರ ಮನಮೇನ ಒಂದ್ರಿಲೈ ಮುಂದೀವರ ಮಾರ್ಗ ನೀರಾಕು ಮೀ ಮುಂದೀವರ 
எண்ணங்களே மனம் யாமீனும் நானேனும் எண்ணமே மூலமா முந்தி பர எண்ணமே மூலமா முந்தி பர ஞானமனமே நல்லுந்தி பர நானென்றெழுமீதம் மேதனாடமும் நாற்றலை சாய்ந்திடும் முந்தி பர நாற்றலை சாய்ந்திடும் முந்தி பர ஞான விசாரமே முந்தி பர நானொன்று ஸ்தானத்து நானானென்றொன்றது தானாக தோன்றுமே முந்தி பர அது தானாக தோன்றுமே முந்தி பர தானது பூன்றமா முந்தி பர நான் என்னும் சொற்பொருளாமது நானுமே நானற்ற தூக்கத்தும் முந்தி பர நானற்ற தூக்கத்தும் முந்தி பர நமதின்மை நீக்கத்தாலும் தீபர உடல் போரி உள்ளம் மூலம் சடம சத்தானதாலும் தீபர சடம சத்தானதாலும் தீபர சத்தான நானல்ல உந்தி பர உள்ளதுணர உணர்வு வேறின்மையின் உள்ளதுணர்வாகும் முந்தி பர உள்ளதுணர்வாகும் முந்தி பர உணர்வே நாம் ஆயுளம் முந்தி பர இருக்கும் இயற்கையா நீச சீவர்கள் ஒரு பொருளே அவர் உந்தி பர ஒரு பொருளே அவர் உந்தி பர உபாதி உணர்வே வேறுந்தி பர தன்னை உபாதி விட்டோர்வது தானீசன் தன்னை உணர்வதா முந்தி பர ஈசன் தன்னை உணர்வதா முந்தி பர தானாயொழிப்பதால் உந்தி பர தானாயிருத்தலே தன்னை அறிதலம் தானிரண்டற்றதால் உந்தி பர தானிரண்டற்றதால் உந்தி பர தன்மைய நித்தையுந்தி பர அறிவறியாமையும் மற்ற அறிவே அறிவாகும் உண்மை உந்தி பர அறிவாகும் உண்மை உந்தி பர அறிவாத கொன்றிலை உந்தி பர தராதியில் யாதென தாங்கேறி நிற்பின் அநாதி அனந்த சத்துந்தி பர அநாதி அனந்த சத்துந்தி பர அகண்ட சீதானந்தம் முந்தி பர பந்த வீடற்ற பர சுகமுற்றவா இந்த நீலை நிற்றல்லுந்தி பர இந்த நீலை நிற்றல்லுந்தி பர இறைப்பணி நிற்றலாம் உந்தி பர யானற்றை எல்வது தேரின் எதுவது தானத்தவம் என்றான் உந்தி பர அது தானத்தவம் என்றான் உந்தி பர தானாமணேசன்ந்தி பர கர்த்துராஜ்யாப்பியம் கர்ம கிம் பரம் கர்ம தஜடம் கிருதி மகோதோ பதனகாரணம் பலமசாஸ்வதம் கதி நிரோதகம் ஈஸ்வராத்திதம் நேச்சயாத்தம் சித்தசோதகம் முக்தி சாதகம் காயவாங்மன காரியமுத்தமம் பூஜனம் ஜப சிந்தனம் கிரமா ஜகத ஈஷதி யுக்த சேவனம் அஷ்டமூர்த்தி பிரேவ பூஜனம் உத்தமஸ்தவாச்சித்தம் ஜப தியானமுத்தமம் ஆஜதாரயோதாசமம் சரளச்சிந்தனம் விரலதரம் 
वेद भावना सोहमित्य सौ पावना पिता पावनी मता भाव शून्य सत्व सुस्थिति भावना बला भक्ति उत्तमा हृसले मन स्वस्थता क्रिया भक्ति योग गो दर्श निश्चित वायुरोदना लीयते मन जाल पक्षिव क्रोध साधन चित्तवायव चित्क्रियायुता शाकोदी शक्ति मूलता लय विनाशने उभय रोदने लय कथम पुनर्भवती नो मृत प्राणवंदना लीन मानस एक नष्टमानसो कृत्यमस्ति किं स्वस्थिति यृश्यवारी तम चित्तमात्मन चिदर्शन दर्शन मानस तो किंकने मानस मग आर्जव वृत्तय स्वहम वृत्तिमाश्रिता वृत्तो मनो मिथ्यम मन अहमय कवती चिंता ऐपत्यह निज विचारण अहमिनाशवाद्यम दया स्फुति स्वय परम पूर्ण सत्म पद मिथ्यमंद अहमीन के प्यलय सत्तया विग्रहे क्रिय प्राणदीतम नाक सज्जम सत् सत्वासिका चिपेतरा सत्तया निची चितयाम ईश जीवोदीता सत्वत वस्तु केवल वेश आनंद स्वात्मदर्शन ईश दर्शन स्वात्म आत्मसंस्थि स्वात्मदर्शन आत्मनिर्भया आत्मनिष्ठता ज्ञानवर्चिता ज्ञानहीनचे ज्ञानमस्ति कि किस्वेत्मदर्शन अव्यया भवा पूर्ण चिसुख बंद मुक्तती तम परम सुखम विंदती भजी वस्तु दैविक अहम वेदक निज विमानक महदिद तपो रमनवागीय करुणा पूर्ण सुधाते कवलित गण विश्व किरणावल्या अरुणाचल परमात्म अरुणो भव चित्त कंच सुविकाचल सर्व भूवा स्थिवा प्रलीन मेद चिंत्रम अन्विष्यांत प्रविष्ट याद्यमलदीयावगम्य स्वूपम श्याम्यचल दीवाद षय बाह्यम रुद्ध प्राणेन रुद्ध मन शास्वा पश्य योगी दीदीमुणाचल मीयर्पित मन सात्वा पश्य सर्व तवाकृतया सतत भजते नन्य प्रीत्या 
Now I'll be reading uh, from Ramana Maharishi by Professor K. Swaminathan. This was a book published in 1975 by Ramana Kendra Delhi. Uh, chapter 6, Ramana Ashram, Gradual Growth. In May 1922, mother passed away in Skandashram, which had been the Maharishi's abode since 1916. The burial of her body at a spot gifted by a devotee on the southern slopes of Arunachala turned out to be the planting of a seed and the founding of a family. In the months that followed, the Maharishi visited the mother's samadhi again and again. Then in December 1922, after one of these visits, he refrained from returning to Skandashram and stayed on beside the samadhi at the foot of the hill. The place thus became his permanent abode thereafter and grew into what is now known as Sri Ramanashrama. The ashram, which came thus informally into being, began with a single thatched shed, but has now developed into a fairly large complex of buildings, perhaps the most important of which, according to many sadhakas, is the old hall where the Maharishi sat on his couch all day long for over 20 years and where the vibrant stillness speaks to one's heart with a strength and precision beyond the reach of words. The other structures which came up during the Maharishi's lifetime were the kitchen and the large dining hall, the Goshala and the well-wrought temple or Mother Samadhi. Swami Nirajananda, the Maharishi's younger brother, also known as Chinna Swami, was mainly responsible for building up the ashram and for organizing its activities so efficiently that these have gone on smoothly ever since without a break and in an orderly manner. After Chinnaswamy's death in 1953, the main additions to the ashram building have been the shrine over the Maharishi Samadhi in 1967 and the vast bright airy meditation hall surrounding it, which was completed in 1970. The long and intimate association between the Maharishi and the mountain, 28 years continued residence in the ashram after the 26 years already spent in other places on or near the hillside has established a strong living link between ancient tradition and the master's main teaching, which was pure Advaita. The old belief that the hill was Shiva embodied, a visible tangible symbol of transcendent awareness was reinforced by the sage's strong attachment to the spot and his repeated assurance that a single earnest act of self-remembrance was enough to bring to any serious seeker a glimpse at any rate of moksha, a brief eternity of pure awareness. Once he came down the hill to live, once he came down the hill to live in the ashram, situated at the southern foot of the hill, the Maharishi made it clear that giving darshan and conveying to people through silence or brief speech the mountain's message of deliverance was his sole task in life. Innumerable seekers in all stages of spiritual evolution came to him from far and near and found peace and clarity and strength of mind in his presence. His darshan, the willingness to see and be seen, to listen and sometimes to answer with a glance, a smile, a gesture was his greatest gift of grace. And he made himself available to all people at all times. Indeed, he seems to have left Skandashram and prefer to live in the ashram at the foot of the hill on the main road to Bangalore because this spot was more easily accessible. In the old days, he would frequently do Giri Pradakshina, walking around the hill. He, he commended this practice to the devotees as it had an exhilarating effect and provided an opportunity of observing from different angles and at different times, the varying aspects of one massive five-faced hill According to him, real pradakshina was circumambulation of self by self, 
an active reminder of the truth that within us, the million universes rule. In 1926, he gave up the practice of walking around the hill and a, few years, and a few years later, he stopped working in the kitchen because he would rather not absent himself from the hall. The timetable for baths and meals, his morning and evening walks, and for his brief periods of rest was well known and punctually kept. Everything about him and the ashram was clean and tidy and predictable. His daily activities were so ordinary, his manner so simple, that a visitor once tweeted to Devaraja Mudalya, what is there about this Bhagavan of yours which makes you think that he is a realized soul? He eats and sleeps and does everything else like the rest of us. Mudalya explained that there were no external marks by which a Jeevan Mukta could be distinguished and, it, and that it needed a Jnani to recognize a Jnani. Indeed, there were occasions when strangers seeing the sage alone or in company, busy and intent on doing a job of work, mistook him for a bricklayer or a kitchen hand and inquired of him in all innocence where the famous Swami was to be seen. A small but significant mark of normality was the sage's reference to himself as Nan, I, instead of the more deliberately self-effacing either this, which he had used in his parting note of August 1896. And, and which many ascetics prefer to use. While the sage spoke of himself as I, others felt constrained to speak of him and even to him impersonally as other. Animals and children readily accepted him as one of their own kind, a creature of nature. But human convention put him aloof from, if above itself, by calling him Bhagavan, the enlightened one. He taught the ashram inmates more by example than precept how to simplify life, affect economies, and avoid waste and extravagance. The wrapping paper or envelopes in which the mail came would be preserved by him for writing or other uses. He would make cups and spoons of coconut shells, polish them like ebony, and tell the attendants to keep and handle them with care, saying, these are our silver cups and golden spoons. Orange peels would be saved for making pickles and faded rose metals for adding flavor to paisam. He would diligently correct manuscripts and proofs, copy out poems accurately in a neat hand, bind books with professional dexterity, cut vegetables, stitch leaf plates, and assist in cooking, thus exemplifying the dignity of labor and the charm of simplicity. Karma was, for him, not some specific ritualistic action, but the daily tasks that are our common lot. As the, num as the number of inmates as well as of visitors grew from year to year, the ashram also had to expand. Even while the sage was at Skandashram, the running of a regular kitchen had begun and his old friend Sheshadri Swamigal used to remark banteringly that the younger Aztec's ashram served delicious sweetmeats to devotees. Others too have remarked that his prasad signified tasty, wholesome food, as well as grace divine, and that both the fires in Ramanashram, the sage himself and the kitchen fire, ever burned equally brightly, delighting the hearts of all comers. The supernatural is not a thing apart, but the awareness that fills and forms the natural. An Andhra couple had stayed in ashram for two months, when the wife wanted to return home and the husband would not. And the Maharishi said, where can you go, my dear man, forsaking your family? Will you fly up into the sky? After all, you have to remain on this earth. Wherever you are, there is a family. I came away thinking that I was giving up everything, but look what a big family I have now. It is a hundred times bigger than your family. On another occasion, he remarked ruefully, when my mother passed away, I thought I had escaped bondage and could live in solitude in some cave or the other. But in fact, I'm in greater bondage now. I cannot even move out. This was because as Suri Nagamma remarks, mother, he had only one, but children he had in thousands. 
On a later occasion in 1945, he complained, Swamihood is a very difficult job. I'm speaking from 50 years experience. They have put wooden bars around me, which I may not cross. People are specially deputed to watch me by turns. I cannot move about as I like. What is the difference between this and in jail? Om Namo Bhagavate Sri Ramanaya. Thank you. I will hand it over to Houston now. Om Namo Bhagavate Sri Aruna Chalaramanaya. This is Kumar Saran from Sri Ramana Center of Houston. Today, we present three songs. We will start with a couple of devotional songs, Sri Ramana Satguru Dhyanam by Sri Sadhu Om and Ramana Kumi Patu by Satyamangalam Venkatramaya. Yasana Main from our center contributed the music and voice for the English translation of Ramana Satguru Dhyanam. And Anugulati sang the Tamil verses of Kumi Patu. Our third song is Bhagavad Gita Saram. A devotee by name Guram Subaramaya once requested Bhagavan Sri Ramana Maharshi for a short version of Bhagavad Gita containing just the essential verses. Sri Bhagavan responded with a selection and rearrangement of 42 verses from the Gita. Sri Ramana's Bhagavad Gita Saram is a definite spiritual masterpiece. It flows very logically and it presents the message of Gita with perfect clarity. In the initial verses, Sri Bhagavan gives the philosophy of existence. The shining jewel of this initial group of verses is Gita Saram, verse 4, which is Bhagavad Gita, verse 1020, where he says, I am the self, O Gurakesa dwelling in the hearts of all beings. I am the beginning and the middle and the end of all beings. Essentially, Bhagavan is stating that all is one and that one is one's own self. Then Bhagavan proceeds to lay down the goal of life. He says in Gita Saram verse 12, which is Bhagavad Gita verse 821, what is called the unmanifest and the imperishable, that is the highest goal. As all is one, and this state is one's true nature, realizing one's true nature is man's supreme goal. Then Bhagavan presents verses that explain the best way to achieve this goal, that is through the practice of self-surrender or bhakti and self-investigation or jnana. The technique of self-investigation, Atma Vichara, is explained in Gita Saram verses 27 and 28, which are Bhagavad Gita verses 625 and 626. The Gita Saram finally concludes with verses that describe the characteristics of a jnani. This collection, the English translation of which was made in a verse form by Major Alan Chadwick and was corrected by Sri Ramana himself. The music and voice was provided by Yasin Amin and artworks by Stephen Sai and Arjun Saran. Now I request these three songs to be played. Thank you. Guru Ramana Murti, T. 
திருவடி கண்ணிலொற்றி சிந்தையில் தியானம் செய்வாம் Touching his holy feet on our eyes, let us meditate in the heart upon Mahaguru Ramana Murti, the formless reality who assumed a human form with jnana and grace as his two eyes, being a refuge to those who come to him desiring to know the reality. He dispels the delusion of ignorance of his devotees. ரமண குரு பதம் பாடுங்கடி அத்தை தேடி நின்றே ரமித்தாடுங்கடி பெண்கால் கூடி நின்றே ரமித்தாடுங்கடி சிங் த ஃபீட் ஆஃப் குரு ரமணா சீக் அண்ட் டான்ஸ் அண்ட் ஜாய் ஓ லேடிஸ் ஸ்டே டுகெதர் அண்ட் டான்ஸ் அண்ட் ஜாய் தங்கும் சிவலோகம் தன்னை விட்டு தயவாக திருச்சுழி தன்னில் வந்து அங்கும் இருக்க மனம் சகியாமலே அருணகிரி தன்னை நாடி வந்தார் லீவிங் இஸ் அபவுட் ஆஃப் பிளஸ் வித் கம்பேஷன் டு திருச்சுழி டவுன் ஹி கேம் நாட் காண்டன் டு ரிமைண்ட் தேர் டு அருணகிரி ஈகர்லி ஹி கேம் ரமண குரு பதம் பாடுங்கடி அத்தை தேடி நின்றே ரமித்தாடுங்கடி பெண்கால் கூடி நின்றே ரமித்தாடுங்கடி விரும்பி வந்திடும் அன்பர்களை வேறு பாட்சகுக இனில் தானிருந்து கரும்பு போல் ருச்சி காட்டி கழித்திட காட்சி தந்தான் அருள் பார்வையுடன் to his abode in virupaksha cave with grace as sweet as sugar cane he showers the rejoicing hearts ramana guru padam paadungadi attai thedi nindre ramithaadungadi pengal koodi nindre ramithaadungadi sonagiri tannil jodi vadi vadai thondridum isanarulale ஆனவ காமிய மாயரித்தேர் நான்ம சுகத்தில் கழித்திடுவான் as light in sonagiri he manifests by the grace of god having cut off individuation action and illusion he revels in the bliss of the self ரமண குரு பதம் பாடுங்கடி அத்தை தேடி நின்றே ரமித்தாடுங்கடி பெண்கால் கூடி நின்றே ரமித்தாடுங்கடி எங்கும் நிறைந்த பராபரமாயொலி தங்கும் மீதம் ஒன்றில் இல்லாமலே கண்குள் பகலர நின்றவிடமதை கண்டு கழித்த நம் தானாகி ஷைனிங் ஃபோர் தஸ் ஆல் பர்வேடிங் டிரான்சென்டன்ஸ் with no abode of his own having realized the state beyond night and day in that state he revels all by himself ramana guru padam paadungadi athai thedi nindre ramithaadungadi pengal koodi nindre ramithaadungadi பஞ்சபூதங்களில் தான் இருந்தான் அவன் பஞ்ச கோஷங்களை தான் அறுத்தான் பஞ்ச தன் மாத்திரை தான் குடித்தான் அவன் பஞ்ச இந்திரியத்தை தான் ஜெயித்தான் இன்ஹேபிட்ஸ் 
the five primordial principles, he drank. The five senses, he conquered. Ramana Guru Padam Padangadi Atai Tedi Nindre Ramitadangadi Pengal Kudi Nindre Ramitadangadi Mundre Sari Ramum Tan Marandana Van Mundra Vastaikalum Tanu Ritan Mundre Gunangalum Tan Divitana Van Mundre Badangad and Devi Vitan The three bodies he forgot. The three states he surpassed. The three qualities he leapt beyond. The three attainments he transcended. Ramana Guru Padam Padangadi Atai Tedi Nindre Ramitadangadi Pengal Kudi Nindre Ramitadangadi Pinum Vina Yedum Kana and Ungitani Siva Manandi In Nunjiva Uyi Ranandi Dahapara Uyi Ranandi Finding nothing more to do, he became the crescent crown Siva, pervading all beings as the soul and himself remaining the Supreme Self. Ramana Guru Padam Padangadi Atai Tedi Nindre Ramitadangadi Pengal Kudi Nindre Ramitadangadi Jeeva Tu Yira Yum Para Tu Yira Yum Chetrika Piditundraki Bava Til Nindre Tanai Marande Para Maha Paritanitavitan Losing his individuality he inseparably binds the individual and supreme selves and like the ripest fruit remains ever the supreme being ramana guru padam padangadi atai tedi nindre ramitadangadi pengal kudi nindre ramitadangadi Vini nilvayai valar padanal in a vinkadara mana vidiane Kani ni kachi and rodi arindane kanvirial in ran kanatile. With a gracious look and a slap on my cheek, he seemed to say, O oh, pious Venkataramana, why do you waste your time with words? Just look. And see for yourself. Ramana Guru Padam Padangadi at the Tedi Nindre Ramitadangadi Pengal Kudi Nindre Ramitadangadi Ramana Nin Sadguru Ramana Nin Bodhavan Ramana Nin Nayavan Ahi Vitan Namavendra Van Padam Nadi Virindu Nam Natiya Madu Vum Yana Pengal Ramana is my Sadguru, Ramana is my guide, Ramana has become my Lord, falling at the feet of he who enthralls us. Let us dance in rapture, O ladies of Jnana. Ramana Guru Padam Padangadi Atai Tedi Nindre Ramitadangadi Pengal Kudi Nindre Ramitadangadi Sing the feet of Guru Ramana, seek and dance in joy. O oh, ladies, stay together and dance in joy.
Bhagavan said, this body that you see the field is called, and that which knoweth it, the sage is called, the knower of the field, O Kunti's son. on faith doth knowledge gain also that 
held in check, knowledge obtained, he peace doth swiftly gain. shining lamp of knowledge I destroy their darkness which from ignorance is born. Truly, in whom is ignorance destroyed by knowledge of the self, knowledge in them discloses the supreme Understanding is than understanding, greater far is he. Knowing him higher than understanding far, and petrifying ego by the self, slay thou the enemy that is desire, so hard to overcome, O mighty arm. doth the fire of knowledge, Arjuna, reduce all actions unto ashes too. Whose works are free from molding of desire, whose acts by fire of knowledge are burned up, that person, learned one, is designate. desire and wrath, subdued in nature and subdued in thought. Little by little, let him peace obtain, by understanding steadiness attained. Having made mind within the self abide, let him not think of anything Withdraw it from that place and lead it under sway of self alone. With senses, mind, and reason ever controlled, the sage on liberation solely bent, having forever cast away desire with fear and wrath, in truth has freedom won. Doth see the self dwelling in all and all in self, and looks on everything impartially. To those people who worship me alone, thinking of no one else, harmonious ever. of all, I am supremely dear to the wise one, and the wise one supremely dear to me. At close of many births, he who is full of knowledge worships me, thinking the while, Vasudeva is all, Mahatmahi, such is indeed most difficult to find. When one gets
gets rid of all the mind's desires and is contented in the self by self. Then is he called one of a stable mind. Whoso forsaketh all desires and goes upon his way from every yearnings free, devoid of I and mine, he peace achieves. cares of anger, joy, and fear is dear to me. The same in honor, ignominy too, the same to friend and foe, abandoning all undertakings, he is said to have gone quite beyond all three qualities. That man who rejoices in the self with self is satisfied with self content. For him, in truth, there's nothing more to do. He gains or loses nothing by his acts or by inaction and has no need from any being. is not bound. The Lord dwells in the heart of everyone, causing by his elusive power them all to spin like marionettes upon a wheel. To him, for shelter, flee with all thy heart by his grace, Peace supreme thou shalt obtain, which is the everlasting dwelling place. That concludes Sri Ramana Center of Houston's contributions on this holy occasion. We now request Austin to take over. 